as the Shatari had to use to wreck some of these frigates. Nah, it's totally safe. Now, can we please focus less on the toxic goo and more on all this cool war junk it's holding together? I'm broke. I didn't mean toxic, toxic. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by... pink goo. You know, I think I do sort of get it. Thousands of worlds fighting for some fleeting greater good. Guess it is kind of poetic. <laughs> ah, cheer up. Just because the war was horrible doesn't mean there wasn't good times along the way. Yeah, I am mostly talking about stuff blowing up. I heard Novacore once wanted to cover entire planets in Novacore. Whoa! Okay. I'm okay! Ha! Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us, hanging out. Just like when we started this gig. Before you know who joined us. I am Groot. I do not hate everybody. Come on, Rocket. Drax and Gamora are valued additions to the... Careful on that thing, Quill. You spot something out there? After we sell the monster, I say we head to nowhere. Do some gambling. I am Groot. Whoa! Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path's this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, Groot, you think we could find pieces of the Tryon Shard in here? You never heard of the Tryon Shard? Pyramid of pure evil that corrupts everything it comes in contact with. Making things up. Name one time. I ever made something up. Yeah, uh, shut up. Ask him. A real pilot out here. Uh, just try to hold her still for us. That's not gonna be an option soon. This position is untenable. Drax says bring it up. Incoming. Watch out. What? Hang on. Sorry about the shooting. Yeah, thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw! We saw some cleaner bots. <laughs> accidentally. At a distance. <laughs> we're totally alright. <laughs> yep. Just a freaky floating creature. Nothing to worry about. Oh, and speaking of freaky creatures, wanna bet green team's having trouble par-
parking the ship. I think I'm done with uh, bets for today. Yeah, you and me both. Let's just get to the rendezvous point. Uh, nobody won. It was just an excuse to shoot stuff. Treasure. Oh, please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, mystery goo. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a if it monster game, it smells like a monster game. No, just trying to stay ready. the main cave when you're done looking around. All right. Too. Yondu was a real work hard, play hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended. That's not what I said. Come on, you were thinking it. She was practically begging for a night with the big galoot. My gift is not for sale. Please don't call it your gift. Just saying, you could have taken one for the team. She clearly wasn't going for Quill. Going for Quill? Get turned around on me. That's it. Dead ahead. Past another bunch of lightweights. That tracker of yours is reliable. Do your magic, Rocket. It is not magic. Just say, have a little faith, Mulberry. My tech built them thumpers. It's gonna pop this door, and it'll find Groot. Am I good, or am I good? Those were the same options. Okay. Tracker says... Uh, come on, you skeg. I knew that thing was junk. Look, we saw him take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Laddie does probably got him on her fancy chair up there. We are down here. Hellbender used some sort of rising stairs. There's gotta be a way of activating this from ground level. We're certain there is, in fact, an elevator. Of course we're sure. We saw... Groot Levon. We can't 
can't find a switch, maybe you can get access to the circuitry itself. You think Cosmo will actually believe us? Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. What about Rocket and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? The apology does not need to be sincere. I guess if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway, once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We've not yet spent our ill gotten wow, gains. How do we find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Be good to see Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope, we met right here, back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Anyway, Cosmo sniffed out a scheme me and Yondu had cooking. He threatened to throw the both of us in jail. I've heard he keeps things on a pretty tight leash. <laughs> he does, but it turns out we're both from Earth, so he gave me a second Man, chance. Keep an eye on your things. These kooks are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. Soothsayers on Katath were unable to predict its demise. No one could predict what Thanos would do. Mad Titan will pay forever. <laughs> you again, Gamora? Star Guy? Green Moon? Okay, bye. So, Gamora. You and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You're being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest thing you've ever called me. I told Peter Quill I would try. That is not the point. The insect woman has embarrassed you. Not wanting to discuss it is your right. I... I appreciate you saying that, Drax. Something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. What was that? Drax! Watch it, Star Lord! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! Can you believe that? Talk to Cosmo alone. Team Bomber, take my gun. 